Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Friday, July 24th, 2020. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope, you know, today is a great day for you for the greatest and best information on how to dominate your money, master your money, business and life. Stay tuned to this channel. Don't forget, please, please hit the like button, turn that gray into blue and also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. We appreciate it. We're gonna have so much good content to cover with you to help you in the areas of your life when it comes to money and taking care of it. Speaking of money, don't forget to grab your two free stocks with Webull. Open up an account, you get two free stocks, one valued up to $1,400, no catch, no gimmick. Just go ahead and grab an account. Also, let's get into this right now. You see, this is exactly the kind of BS that I was worried about that I was, I was like hoping, I'm like, don't prove me right again. After spending all day yesterday waiting, sitting in front of the television, eat, eating my nails around the news and hoping the Senate was gonna unveil their upcoming stimulus package, we finally found out that the bill is being delayed to next week. But wait, I'll tell you about the new timeline and the upcoming stimulus package, as well as some items that have been stated to leak out that will be included in phase four disaster relief bill after this. Also, we got some confirmation of something. But first, we've got some good news regarding another round of stimulus checks. Finally, finally good news, right? We keep hearing about all this stuff that's just so negative. I know people are turning off the news for like weeks and they come to my channel because I'm suffering through it. We've been worried about the $40,000 annual income threshold that would eliminate millions of Americans from receiving the second round of stimulus. It's like, People were talking in the comments about how unfair they felt that was and how wrong it was. You know, leaving out sectors is just not right. Well, talks have been heated, heating up in Washington and we finally have word about what the next round of stimulus checks will look like and who will be getting them. My buddy, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin explained that the new check will be identical to the first round of direct payments stating, this is his quote. We're talking about the same provisions as the last time. So our proposal is exactly the same proposal as last time. So they just copied and paste. Like you've never done that before? Copy and paste. And the great thing about it is they probably have a lot of the kinks already worked out. So if you haven't yet gone to the portal or gotten your information into the IRS, get it in there so that you'll immediately get this in your account as quick as possible. This is great news, as is basically, this confirms that anyone who received a stimulus check in the CARES, in that CARES Act will be getting another $1,200 this time around, which I think is fabulous, right? I mean, it is, what, four months later, but hey, you know, something sometimes is better than nothing, right? While these checks won't be retroactive, there's no $2,000 that's gonna be retroactive or $2,000 a month going forward. You know, it's great that they aren't going to restrict payments and omit millions of Americans from receiving these vital disaster relief funds. At least there's something. Uh, more effort would be great. We'll see what they come up with as far as additional items to this package, but at least we know the check is firming up in the amount and who's gonna get it. Speaking of the upcoming stimulus package, Mitch McConnell explained yesterday that the bill, or bills as he said, that was supposed to be announced will be delayed till next week. Great, you've had three weeks, you said you were working on this and then you, we find out you've only been working with two people, two senators, you didn't include the rest, and now you didn't even give a draft bill to Trump? Are you serious? He stated this, the Trump administration, administration has requested additional time to review the fine details, but we will be laying it down the proposal early next week. What does this mean? It means they're asking for all kinds of caveats and weird stuff that they've baked in with the 30 
seven years of favors that Mitch McConnell's got to find a way to satisfy all those favors so that he can get a reprieve upon. And then Trump's got to go, oh my God, are we serious? Because, you know, he's not a politician. If you think Trump's a politician, put it in the comments below. I don't think he's a politician. Um, I think he's going to look at it and go, this makes no sense. Like most bills, right? They make no sense because they're trying to please all the people that voted for him or give them PAC money. Okay, I'll get off that. I understand needing more time to make sure the stimulus package works for everybody. Yes, he's got to filter it because he's got to put an autograph on it. Trump does. But Mitch, you said the bill was all set yesterday and both sides agreed on the terms and the starting point. You sat in the office. I saw you guys. Everybody looked all cozy and chummy after your food fight the day before. And now and and now y'all don't have it all together. I don't know. Was that just a front? Were you fronting us, right? We know what it's called out here in like the real America. That's called fronting, buddy. So yeah, you're still fighting in the back rooms. McConnell even reiterated this yesterday, stating, we have an agreement in principle on the shape of the package. Like curves? Like what kind of shape are you talking about? It's write a check to people who need money because you've closed down the country and we have this impossible thing that we're dealing with that nobody's got a real answer to. So if you have an agreement, why don't you just, uh, why do you need more time? I don't understand. That July 31st deadline is coming up fast. We're the 24th right now. Every day that you guys sit around and wait is one day closer to diving off the cash cliff we've been talking about for months. And everybody's like, knows this. I mean, you know, I can ask anybody. I can ask like a, a 10 year old. They'll be like, yeah, um, that's bad. Yeah, a 10 year old. Finally, some of the items that will be included in the upcoming stimulus package um, are they're starting to leak out of Washington. I guess, you know, what does it say? Loose lips sink ships. Well, maybe not this time. Maybe loose lips will keep the market afloat where we don't panic. And no, I'm not talking about the Washington football team. Yeah. Washington football team. The other name, which I'm not going to mention, is gone, which is now their real name, Washington football team, right? It's like, it's always, I feel like I'm buying something at, you know, the generic store that's in yellow, right? So now we have a generic football team. Why? Where, where is the team? Oh, it's in Washington. What's the name of the team? Washington. Oh, yeah, they should, their whole team should, just my suggestion, like the discounted stuff back in the days, it's all yellow. The team should convert their whole uniforms to just yellow. So they're the discounted team. And I think because they don't have an official brand at this point, that uh, their merchandise should be half off, right? 50% discount. So you get a Washington hat because you know they're gonna rebrand themselves. So that's gonna be strange, right? During their meeting throughout the week, this is off that topic, during the um, week, the Senate and the White House have detailed stimulus programs that will be included in the upcoming stimulus package for disaster relief bill that I don't know why is a mystery at this point. We're, we're likely going to see that $1,200 stimulus check so you can pretty much feel it's almost completely confirmed. An extension of the federal enhanced unemployment benefit is tuning in to about 70% wage replacement seems to be where they're kind of foot in the bill. And the other thing is that liability protection for businesses. Like if somebody comes to work and gets sick and they go home and God help us, they die, right? And the doctors and the universities, think of all the lawsuits that'll come out of that for wrongful deaths, you know? I mean, doctors leave sponges in people and people die and it's like, it'll be a nightmare. So I get that, I, I understand. 105 billion to reopen schools in the fall with part of those funds contingent on opening their doors. Wow, 16 billion in funds for testing. I know Trump doesn't want a dime to go to testing. And a more focused second round of PPP payments for struggling small businesses. God, do we need it. We also need the EIDL program, which I'm gonna cover in the second video today, which you can check out. If all of these items are included in the upcoming stimulus package, and this is just a starting point, point, I'm getting more excited day by day that the disaster relief bill could actually help millions of Americans to survive the rest of 2020. 
who knows what'll be 2021, but at least we'll get through this. And Mnuchin's even talking about a CARES 5, so interesting. Let's just hope that the stimulus package unveiled doesn't get pushed back even further as we need that approval for this bill ASAP. It's so important that we restore. Fear is bad. It's bad for the market, it's bad for the country, right? So no one's greedy at this point. They're all scared of losing their shekels. So don't, don't let people think that they're gonna lose stuff because you're not gonna support them when you're closing down their businesses. That was the stimulus check, second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Friday, July 24, 2020. If you like this video, please turn, if you haven't done it, turn that gray into blue. And if you don't like it, go ahead and hit, just so you make sure you hit that dislike button, hit it twice, just so you know you got it. Thank you. And um, for making it this far in the video, leave a comment at your best place you've ever visited. I'd love to know, and in the comments, I'll tell you where my favorite place is. I love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care.